Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Moon Tier. Today we're going to be having a bit of a Christmas special but I think we're going to start off with a little bit of base work because I got an Elytra back again. Basically it was off camera. I paid somebody like a stack of diamonds and they got me an Elytra which is really good of them. But I need rockets now and another thing I need lots of bones as well and I don't have many bones and I really want like bone meal or growing stuff or like you know string or candles so I think a mob farm is in order of being built. The problem is my base is filled in up here there's there's, there's not enough, not much room to hide mob farm up here but there is down here Okay, and also, I think one more time lapse we need to do is we need to actually start doing some Christmas decorations. And now we've picked Beastie's base for this. Um, so we're going to go over there. And it, it's a mess, honestly. Beastie's base right now, it's a mess. But we're going to terraform it into a place of beauty. And we're even going to make a bit of a game.
yes, we have uh, we have done a lot of work here, and um, I didn't do all of this in time lapse. Some of it's been done off time lapse, but this place is getting really quite beautiful. Like, it is so nice. And by the way, if you're thinking like, why am I playing in FOV thirty? I'm honestly just doing it because it looks nicer. Everything just looks better angled for you know, especially when I'm looking at myself. But anyway, I think I think it's almost time to try out this ice boat race because. I need to get some practice in before the actual event happens. And now I'm going to show you the first one I do, and it's going to be terrible. But hopefully, by the time it happens, the event happens, I'll be not too bad. And just before we start, um, this is the map we have here of the uh, the ice race, uh, the ice race course. Some of them aren't like fully filled in the maps, but you can basically see the basic overview. I'll just leave it here for a second so you can work it out. You can see where the things are going because uh, the the actual race is going because there's like brown fences around the outside of the entire thing but yeah it's pretty cool uh there is one part we had to terraform an entire mountain which you can see at the bottom down here uh and that's basically um we made like a, a bridge sort of thing which is really cool but yeah i'll show you now what the, my first run looks like probably very bad all right okay three two one Let's go. Okay, so bit of a bit of a hard course. This I am not very good at this ice boat thing. Bit of a tight squeeze there. Okay, and got the candy canes, and we go through here. Also quite a bit of a tight squeeze. I am concentrating too hard on rowing here. Uh, I should concentrate more on what I'm saying as well. Uh, oh, yeah, that was narrowly narrowly missed. You see the fences here we put around here. Uh, I'll, we which we went past it by terraformed. I was going to point out, but uh, I need to concentrate. That was terrible. Okay, um, yeah. So now we come over to the big open wide bit. It's where we're going to pick up a lot of speed. Uh, this took a lot of ice. <laughs> I remember digging out many rivers for all of this ice. But I'm going to go around the outside. Just I usually do that because uh, I have a lot of speed going to this corner and you uh, shave it off. Problem is I get stuck a bit. That's not very good. Next time I should probably go through the middle. Oh, that was a crash. Okay, let's go. Let's go on the right side of these islands in the middle. Okay, through this section here, and go around the outside. Yeah. Okay. And oh, that was pretty bad. I have to. I have to be honest. That not very good. I could have done a lot better than that. And not only have we built an entire mob farm, which you can see behind me, which I'll show in a minute. We've also built a bit of a storage area because the storage area we had before wasn't very good. Uh, it was literally just flooding. I haven't even moved all the stuff over yet, but I've moved a big chunk of it. And hopefully I'm going to have to expand a bit more than the entire thing. But I'm thinking it's looking not bad for now. Anyway, let's go check out this uh, mob farm over here. And you can just about see through the, uh, the tinted glass, uh, which we haven't, all, we haven't finished yet, by the way. We have to do a load more tinted glass. But yeah, it's, it's uh, not looking too bad i think hang on a sec okay never mind i thought somebody turned it off for a second but uh yeah you can you actually uh yeah so down there you can see this glow squids because um this farm which by the way has 17 layers so it's a uh, quite a lot of space for spawning uh this farm somehow spawns so many glow squids and i mean like i mean like uh i went afk for like a couple of hours and there was like a couple stacks of inks in, of glowing sacks which is crazy but yeah you can see over here it's not doing too badly uh i have like sold a lot of the gunpowder and or moved it into my ender chest here but yeah quite a nice little room we have down here um thanks to tablix for uh excavating it um yeah it's, it's it's honestly not that bad i need to light up some caves around here but it will it will suffice for my needs one thing I want to do now that we've got this mob farm done though is I quite want to have a sugarcane farm because I want lots of rockets and we've got the gunpowder capabilities but the sugarcane not so much. I've got um, that dinky little sugarcane farm over there which is nowhere near enough sugarcane for my needs um, especially since I'm going to be wanting paper and stuff as well but I think it should be better to have some sort of sugarcane farm which I think is going to be on that wall there, possibly. But who knows? I'm going to probably make it go down quite far. I've done... This video has had a lot of work in it. And I mean... I mean a lot. I mean, that's taken me a lot, like... 
many hours. So is the, uh, the, the the winter area, and that's not even done yet. And I saw a lot of stuff to do. So yeah, this video, there's a lot of effort. So uh, I hate doing this, but please like and subscribe. That's that, all right, that's it. That's the, that's the that's the bad part over. Anyway, let's get into the main parts of the sugarcane farm build. So yes, we are back and I have done a lot of work and unfortunately replay mod did not capture the make, yeah, digging out of this hole, but it did capture the building and this is one huge sugarcane farm. And um, I should probably explain how this works because I was um, talking to some people and they're like, how on earth does this work? So I'm just gonna show you right now, which is if I dig behind here a bit, you can see basically what happens is there is dirt along each row and then behind the dirt, there is waterlogged stairs. So uh, the, 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 I can put sugarcane down. And then at both ends, there's an observer, which has another observer behind it, which just goes into this redstone and runs across here, uh, which is basically on the same level as the pistons, just one block backwards. And since the redstone runs along the top, as you can see, uh, what that does is as soon as the observer detects any growth, it fires the pistons. Unfortunately, it does not only fire the pistons when that one sugarcane grows it like fires multiple times before it grows as it's like slowly growing up but that just makes it slightly more efficient i i really messed up the explanation i'm sorry about that but i hope you can get what it means um but yeah i'll go and show you now I've, I've, I've hooked it up to the same place where i get the drops from the mob farm so basically it's got like a bit of a rocket factory down there which is quite nice because rockets are very helpful um but yeah you can see we've already got like quite a decent amount of sugarcane and I haven't really been like here too much. I haven't really been on too often, but it is quite efficient. I need to measure it as well. Let's see. This is oh yes, this is quite filled up as well. It's got lots of mob drops, which is very nice. I'm gonna be using those very often. But yes, I think what we're gonna do now is go to somebody else's base because I have heard of a potential investment, and um, I have I have a bit of a secret weapon because this person is that one guy, and if you remember earlier. Uh, I've actually got an IOU from him, so I'm going to see if I can get some property using that IOU for basically free. But to do that, first I need to get a bit of a change of attire because I'm a bit casual here in my hoodie and my, my, my jeans and, you know, I need to get a bit more of a formal attire, so... Boop. And there we go, that's a bit more of a formal suit, hopefully this will make a bit more of an impression. Also, I think Duckman is going to be my lawyer, so, uh, God help me. I'm the greatest lawyer you'll ever see. They're going to make a TV show about me. I'm featuring sorry. Meghan Markle. I've heard you, uh, you have a house here, Duckman. Is that right? I do, I do. It is that one there, next to the post. Ah, see, yes. Whatever. Okay, um, because, yeah, I, I've heard that there are some sales here, and I think I might try and get myself one next to the big... Very, very untouched volcano. <laughs> oh. Which uh, needs a bit of work. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, so I've heard there are some properties for sale here. There are. There's oh. also land you can buy. Ooh, or land. Your own doing, if you wish. All right. Yeah. So uh, could you actually could you start with just taking me around the properties first? I'd like to see a bit of what you have to so, offer. Uh, this house is for sale. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Right. Bit, bit small, but you know. Never actually put a price on this. Oh, got a nice uh, storage some of them, area. Some of them have a uh, interior, but some don't. I need to get around to do that. They yes. will, they will come with an interior, or you can. Suskin's trying to go away. Oh yes, yeah, so I've got my lawyer here, by the way. Um, 
Yeah. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. right. I was in the show with Meghan Markle. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So this house here, the one you were just in, I'd price this at three diamond blocks, and Ooh. we want to move to the next house. We'll Wait. give you two diamonds. Take it or leave it. Uh, we haven't seen the rest of them yet. Anyway, two diamonds. So take or leave it. Okay. Two fine. diamonds. Take it or leave it. Priced at two diamond blocks because it's two diamond blocks. It's quite small, but it's the only one with a good interior. I thought you said the other one was coming with interior. <laughs> uh, the other one, yes, will. Yeah. But it's not done yet. Right. Okay. Jeez, all these furnaces. I know. So many furnaces. Isn't that a fire hazard? <laughs> it Come on, is my lawyer. Oh, it's a fire hazard. Oh, is that why it's cheap? Fire hazard. Uh, no. So it's not cheap because it's a fire hazard. Fire hazard's just part of it. Yeah, so if you want to take a walk around this mm. way. Yes. That house was for sale, Doug. That's my house. Uh, oh. You get the nice one. Some properties that are yet to be built, but you can purchase them if you wish. Oh. This one here, I probably, I'd say, has the biggest surface area. Yes. So if you want a nice big house, this is the, the land to buy. Um, it does look pretty how much, fun. how much for that island? The, the whole island. Yeah. Right, so I'd say starting price 10 diamond blocks, but since the beach is mined out. Yeah, that so has to be. Two. The house was Susskind's house, and it's got an uh, interior, like a bunker underneath, I guess. Yeah, so that's going to have that to be paid to remove, so that's going to bring the price down. Yeah, demolition cost. That would bring the, yeah, so that, yes. that would bring down about three. Three. Uh, so what were we at? Five diamond blocks. Yeah. For the entire island. Yeah. Um, so, Duckman, do your work. Three diamonds, take it or leave it. Uh, no. Yes. He said yes. He said no. yes. Okay, there. No. Okay, no, um, no. three, three no, diamond blocks. Diamond. Three diamond Wait. blocks. No. Can you say this? Okay, how about? I will not. Three diamond blocks plus, um, I can, I can, I can throw you in. Actually, hang on a sec. Wait a second. Yes. I want the island, please. Deal. Yay! Wait! I got an island. While I still have my business suit on, I think it's just time to do a bit more business work because, um, basically, every time I go into my uh, area, storage area for my mob grind, uh, my mob spawner, sorry, my mob farm, somebody's already, always, already just like got there before me. Taking all the gunpowder, and although they do leave some money in one of the chests, it's just like, you like not, <laughs> but yeah. So one thing I think will help that is if I open up a bit of a shop for some of the goods produced at my base. And I think, I'm not even sure where to do it, I think, I'm thinking just outside my base might be quite good. But you know, who knows, I need to just find a place and set up a shop, I think that's probably my next goal. And hopefully at some point, um, I'll get some sales in, which would be nice. Hello, yes, we are back now, and I have built myself a bit of a shop, and now I did build this not too long ago, but um, I think we should go and have a look what has been made, because uh, I didn't show us, but this is Orange's travelling cart for now. Uh, later on, we will be digging out in this area, making a big hole, because this is actually where, like, just right down here, this is actually the end portal, so... This is basically where everybody goes to the end, but yeah, here's my traveling cart. I'll show you first what I've done, and we can check our uh, our sales. So I've got one stack of arrows for one diamond, 32 string for one diamond, 16 gunpowder for one diamond, and that's mostly just because I haven't really um, got that much gunpowder at this point. Uh, I've got a stack of bones for one diamond, eight glow ink sacks for one diamond, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a surprising amount of glow ink sacks, as I said earlier. Uh, three stacks of flesh, one diamond, that's just in case anybody needs flesh, which I don't even know why you would, but you know. A mending book for one diamond, a stack of rockets for a diamond, 32 golden carrots for a diamond, and a stack of sugar cane for a diamond. And I think now, I, I'm pretty sure I've got a couple sales. Oh yes, okay. Eight diamonds, no, no gunpowder sales. Oh yes, nine more diamonds from the bones. No arrow sales, no ink sack sales. No rotten flesh, no sugar cane, five golden carrots. Oh, that's a lot of mending sales. Yes, half a stack of diamonds already. Plus, okay. Somebody, somebody's already paying with biscuits. Biscuits. So yeah, a total of forty-one diamonds. That is quite a lot of diamonds. I think if I 
turn that into blocks. That's another four blocks to add onto my pile. We're getting to close to half a stack of diamond blocks, which is not bad. I think what I need to do though is probably go and restock some stuff. 